Thank you, Florinda, and thank you, everybody, for coming. And uh, the title of this presentation is How to Get Rid of Nuclear Weapons Once and for All. Probably I need to say that I am not from Mars of, or Jupiter to underestimate the difficulty of the problem. Uh, on August 6, 2015, we had 70 years since Hiroshima, and it was very little media attention. Maybe partially because that day it was first um, Republican discussion of for presidential presidential elections. Um, so probably in this audience I don't need to explain what are nuclear nuclear weapons, how dangerous they are, and how terrible it is for people to live such a long period of time knowing that threat is here. Uh, so what I will try to do today is to, to tell about kind of new point of view toward nuclear weapons. Uh, thinking how practically, what practically could be changed in, situ in the situation. Of course, uh, you know that anti-nuclear movement had some huge important achievements, uh, stopping or decreasing testing uh, and reducing number of weapons, but still still we live with them. So the question is how, what, what could be done in some new way against nukes. Um, the other very, very closely related question is the question of growing tension in the world. Uh, currently, we can, there is, you know, continuing Arab-Israeli conflict. Now it's huge tension in Ukraine. There are also very disturbing developments between China and America, and, and on and on and on. So the question also is, could this tension be reduced in any way? And, and it is related to another question. Do we as humankind have one direction to go? Do all people have clearly defined big goal or big direction? Because if we don't have one goal, and if we continue to live in the world of competition, uh, as soon as competition is so important in life, um, it is obvious that a risk of war will be always present. So this is a question I will uh, discuss now, do we have one big goal for all human beings? <laughs> it, is, it is very close to a question about the meaning, the meaning of life, but I will speak about it in a very practical way. So about meaning of life, there is this idea that everybody could has to find his own meaning in this life. So if everybody has to 
So can I. So I will try right now to think what, what is the purpose of my life. And, um, and what could be my biggest achievement in life. So when I speak about biggest achievement, I could try to do something for myself or for my family or for my country, it will be even bigger achievement, or for, for entire humankind, or entire life on this planet, including humankind. So what could be bigger? And it is something bigger. And the bigger is that I could do something for people 10 years from now, or maybe 100 years from now, if I invent you know, vaccine against cancer or whatever. Um, so the results of my life could be felt 10 years or 100 or maybe 1,000 years from now, if I think it big. But if, say, 300 years from now, entire humankind stop existing, that will be the limit of my contribution and everybody's contribution. So, because achievements of next generation depend on achievements of previous generations, uh, the longer humankind would exist, the longer my result will exist, results of my life. So, also, if I make a positive contribution, people in next generation could pass this impact ahead and ahead. Again, it will go only until the moment when the last human being dies. So when I make positive impact, humankind could exist longer because people will have more reason and more energy to keep going in whatever difficulties they will encounter in their life. So maybe the purpose of life is to make humankind exist longer. So this is the, or to make life better. So if life is better, people are more joyous, they have more energy to keep going and more reason to keep going. So this is the idea. Maybe the purpose of human life is to make humankind immortal. Or if humankind end, ends existing, maybe life could produce reason again. So this is the final formula, that the purpose of human life is to make natural life eternal, immortal, never ending. It looks a little bit far reaching, right? But let's, let's try to ask the same question again. What is the biggest achievement for human being and for humankind in general, in, as a whole? Um, it is, maybe it is difficult to say, but it's very easy to say what is the biggest negative result of human activities. What is the most terrible thing which could happen? And that most terrible thing is complete destruction of life. Bold planet, no humans, no animals, nothing, no life. So again, probably the positive achievement is opposite to mo the biggest negative thing, right? So again, we come to this idea that, that maybe the purpose of human life is to make life non-ending. The purpose of life is to decrease chances that all life will be destroyed. Uh, so maybe a couple more minutes about this. Um, I wrote four books about purpose of life and about meaning of life. 
and the last one is closer to some practical implementations. And uh, if I had more time, I will say a couple more things about purpose of life. But if I had more time, the longer I would say, the more, the cleaner, clearer uh, will be this picture, what I'm talking about when I say that the purpose of life is to life, make life immortal. But let's uh, think about it a different way. Um, let's ask what is, what is my soul, my spirit, or my consciousness? It is something which was, well, some people believe that God participating in giving people soul and spirit, but at least human participation is obvious. When a person is, when a child is small, people teach child speaking, thinking, give him his or her emotions, and so, at some moment, a child thinks that he or she is a person like other people. So when we live in this world, we impact one another. And we, so there is this process of streaming of consciousness of humankind through specific, through all of us. So, if, again, 300 years from now, it will be no humans. This process of streaming of soul, of giving next generations accumulated achievement in language, in literature, in music, in whatever, in science, if this process will end 300 years from now, that will be the date, the real date, of my death, if I associate myself with my impact in other people. And again, we come to the same idea that the longer humankind will exist, the longer my soul and my spirit will live in souls and spirits of other people. This idea could require entire presentation. It is very similar to an idea of reincarnation or afterlife. It could be very interesting, but today I will rush towards some practical things about nukes. So, um, how, so as of today, I'm completely sure that this is really the answer to the question of meaning and purpose of life. We are, we have one mission for all of us. And that mission, to say it very shortly, to, is to make life better. But unfortunately, these words, to make life, be life better, are so different for different people. Because when a person puts explosives on himself or herself and goes to, to explode it somewhere. It is this specific person of understanding how to make world better because he is fighting not, he is fighting for God. So people have very different understanding of wh what the word better is. And this is huge topic in Western philosophy since times of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Uh, now, uh, to make world better, very difficult to say, but to make, to prevent ultimate catastrophe, despite it sounds distant, it is much more practical. And as soon as I say that most terrible thing is the bold planet, the nuclear weapons immediately come to our mind, right? Because this is the, the easiest way to imagine how that could happen, that there will be no humans around. And if it will be no humans around, eventually it will be no life around because 
people possess reason and they could eventually take life from this planet and you know millions of years from now it is necessary to be done people have to take life from this planet somewhere so here we come to question of nukes if nukes will continue to be around sooner or later they will be used practically and if you think for a minute that they will be in hands of terrorists it's just terrible the idea is i can just imagine but what could happen is that as far as nukes are around they will be used and this makes so this is the first idea is this idea of what we're living for and the second idea is that existence of nuclear weaponry makes every human life meaningless because whatever we try achieve in our life is always to do something good so locally we try to do good but globally we go opposite direction 200 years ago it was impossible that entire humankind will will disappear inside i don't know one year if they push nuclear buttons but today it is possible and um, even if it's not going to happen any proliferation even if it will be like today anyway nukes will be start started to be used and it will open this these gates for using in and this is not the end maybe it will be even more more terrible weaponry because throughout entire human history whatever technology is offering is used in 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 war of course i need to talk here you know more carefully because uh, we have success not you know to limiting of uh, chemical weapons for example but in general speaking uh, throughout entire human history whatever technology gives possibility it's used for in military conflicts so what so when i think about my own life i was a pretty successful scientist i published in 10 different scientific disciplines from from mathematics to philosophy of medicine i participated in huge very socially important project in soviet union uh, about impact of pollution on public health i was a leader of that huge project back in moscow so from traditional point of view my life is quite successful i came to to united states of america legally and i succeeded here but when i think about what is the result of my life when i came here it was two countries with nukes and now there are nine and um, so objectively it looks that instead of situation became better instead of going up we'll go we go down it's like we try to swim in the river but the the stream of the river takes us backward this is horrific idea or imagine you work for a company and instead of you know putting money in your bank account every month they take money from your bank account uh, so this is shortly speaking this is my hope is if the ideas which i try to get out will start to hold among people 
if people will start to understand that this is completely, of course, people without what I'm writing, people, under, people understand that nuclear weapons are terrible. But what is new here is that we, by our inaction or our, our action, which is too weak, we participate in a terrible, terrible crime. Our generation received all achievements for thousands and thousands and thousands years from previous generations. And we allowing all this achievement to get to nothing. So um, my hope is to find people who will, who will start to spread this idea. And this, if, if initially it will be five people who will be convinced strong enough that we cannot live like this. It is absolutely our life as it goes now is meaningless and in some respect even criminal. So uh, the more people will share this idea, the easier it will be not only read of, read of nukes, but to live in the world which people will start to watch, they will not appear again. Because or where people learn how not to use technology to war. And there are several, and if this idea of what we are living for, that we live to make life immortal, will take some hold, immediately for several things will happen. It's not only about nukes. Immediately we'll stop, we will stop pump, pumping oil from, from beneath the surface of this planet. And because this oil is there not not to use it immediately. It is for hundreds of generations in future, in future. So there will be a lot of new attitude towards going right now. Maybe it will go as far as people would start thinking maybe we voluntary, we could reduce number of children we bring in this world. Because it's completely meaningless to bring children to this world if they will see mushroom clouds. So if, I don't know if I managed this shortly to, to explain something. I would be very, of course, I understand that there are hundreds of questions about what I am talking about. But I don't know, Florinda, maybe it's good to, to have some questions and then continue to speak if, what is your advice at this point? Uh, I, yeah, I think whatever you're comfortable with is your presentation. So we can have some discussion now if you'd like. We could, we I'm could. Sure everybody has. Yeah, if you if you don't mind, we could do this. We could start questions, and if uh, and we will see how it goes because we still have enough time for discussion. Yeah. Okay. First, I want to thank you for uh, your presentation. However brief it is, it's still uh, very comprehensive, and I think you kind of summed it up uh, uh, remarkably. Thank you. The, uh, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, because as you yourself stated, there's uh, just uh, so many things uh, that this opens up, this line of discussion opens up so many things. Uh, your, uh, the assertion that life can be destroyed by man, uh, maybe human life can be destroyed by man, but life uh, itself is a pretty uh, formidable. Robust. Yes, thing. it is very robust. And, and uh, um, without going into uh, illustrations like the uh, 
holes in the ocean where uh, holes in the ocean where the uh, new life comes yes, here. Sulfuric acid. They're living in sulfuric acid. Something that we can't do. Um, um, and the the other thing about the uh, the eternal aspect of of this, I personally feel that it's a uh, we can't get a uh, we are part of a of a machine, and uh, we still do not fully comprehend the mechanisms. Uh, that control this machine or uh, you know we are just a part of it if you just look at your own body you're host to so many different things mm. uh, uh, life is uh, you know if we're talking about getting rid rid of nuclear weapons uh, uh, we've done really quite a remarkable job when you think about it with uh, MAD you know with the mutually assured destruction yes and the uh, the only uh, the only thing that was not factored into that was the uh, uh, quote unquote terrorists. Um, uh, but I don't think that uh, you know. I guess I'm hopeful that uh, that won't come about. That someone will purposely go out and destroy until we have what are called battlefield nuclear weapons, uh, which. Which is coming. Yeah, which, well, they do have them in terms of the shells and whatnot for penetration of the tanks and so on. But um, uh, it is my hope that if we can just uh, work on uh, uh, doing away with uh, uh, nuclear arms. Uh, so it will be war by other means, right? Well, we've never 